In this video, I'm going to be looking at my school of black skirt tetras coming up. Hey, what's up? It's Ty here, and welcome to my channel, Aquariums with Ty. And on this channel, I do a lot of fish videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point in the video, check out the description below. I'll post anything I forget, as well as links to anything I might reference. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is the Black Skirt Tetra is a pretty nice directional schooler. And they're also a pretty big Tetra, which is also another reason I like them. And they swim back and forth like this pretty much the whole time that I'm at the aquarium. Or they cluster up into a big group. So why do Black Skirt Tetras school? Typically, schooling is a defense mechanism to discourage predators. So I'm pretty sure these fish think I'm a predator because every time I come to the aquarium, it's to turn the light on uh, because I'm trying to cut down on algae. So basically, they associate me with a bright light. Also, I almost exclusively feed these guys with a, uh, an auto feeder. And that's because of my job. I travel a lot for my job and I'm not, a, I'm not home a lot. So yeah, basically the fish, they associate me with bright light and they, they don't associate me with food. So that's why I think they think I'm a predator. Uh, when I'm not around, the light is off. And when the light's off, they don't school like they do right now. They just kind of spread out across the entire tank and kind of chill, or I guess you would say shoal. So when it comes to the size of a school, I recommend getting as big of a school as you can. I haven't really followed my own advice in this because I only have nine and I can obviously have more than that in this aquarium, but I plan to bump the size up a little bit in the future. Uh, the more you have in the school, the more likely they are to actually perform the tight schooling behavior and it looks better in my opinion. Um, maybe try making this the main focus of an aquarium if you haven't had a schooling fish as the main focus of your aquarium because it's actually pretty awesome to have a schooling fish. So the minimum size school I would have is seven and I think that my tank would look a lot better if I had a bigger school than nine. Um, maybe up to around 15. So will a different species of schooling fish school with black skirt tetra? And the simple answer is no, fish don't typically um, school with other um, species of schooling fish, but sometimes you might have that odd um, situation where they do. And that's probably because it is a schooling fish, but since they're maybe stressed out or scared and trying to avoid predators in the tank, they might school with a different species of fish, but chances are they're gonna be stressed out the entire time. Like you'll see my um, sword tails schooling with these fish a little bit, and I think it's more just because they're kind of like following the crowd, um, not necessarily stressed out or anything like that. Also, so you'll notice that some fish school tightly like the black skirt tetra and very directionally but you also notice that some fish which are claimed to be schooling fish actually just kind of shoal or group up together to stay safe and they kind of just they stay safe in numbers they don't necessarily school as one it's important to note that if you are trying to get this schooling behavior in a schooling fish then i recommend getting the black skirt tetra because they do directionally school and it, if there's another fish you might be interested in make sure that it's not just going to be a, a fish that shoals together opposed to schooling because you might miss out on the schooling behavior if that's what you're looking for the black skirt tetra also looks kind of like a piranha because it is a more deep bodied tetra um, I think that if you're in a state where it's illegal to have piranhas, maybe consider keeping um, black skirt tetras because when they do get full grown, they are pretty robust and thick. Um, they, they look like miniature piranhas and they also, they feed pretty vigorously too, which I plan to show in a future video. Uh, these tetras get about two and a half to three inches and it's a lot, easy, a lot easier to keep a big school of these than piranhas. So question for you guys, what do you think about the black skirt tetra? 
Do you like the schooling behavior opposed to the uh, shoaling behavior? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. For my most current video, click or tap the screen right here. And for another Black Skirt Tetra video, click or tap the screen right here. And I'll see you guys next week with another fish video. See you later.